Hi Hoopers, welcome back to the Shoe Sayer. Today we finally take a look at one of the most anticipated basketball shoes for 2024, the Way of Wade 11s. Now, typically I would like to play my shoes about two or three times before I even give you guys a review, but I was so excited to see these and play in them that I had to give you guys a first impressions review after playing them just once. So today we're gonna look at, you know, what is the good, the bad, and the in-between concerning the Way of Wade 11s. Okay? All right, let's jump into video. All right, so let's start it off with the bad. Overall, there are four things I don't quite like about the Way of Wade 11s. The very first thing is the traction durability, right? So I've played in these just once and already there is some slight fraying, right? Especially here in this WoW 11 um, writing and also just a little bit throughout the outsole. Just feeling the, the traction uh, pattern, you can see that it's quite soft and also the grooves are not that deep, right? So if you're thinking of buying these for outdoor usage, you might actually run through them in, I would say, a month or two, especially if you're a very aggressive player. So, I mean, for me that sucks and that's a downer and definitely one of the bads for the Way of Wade 11s. The second bad for me is the breathability, right? So just looking at these shoes, there isn't any real ventilation, right? So you have leather and then you have foam and then you also have plastic, right? And then you just have a small portion of the upper that's actually this textile or fabric. And yes, in the tongue, right, they did try to do this, right? In the tongue, there is a little bit of perforation right there. If you can see that right there in the tongue. However, that's the only way air flow, you know, goes around it or even leaves this shoe. So um, that for me is the second bad because I played in these once and then I could see how if I had played for maybe like four hours, uh, my, my feet would actually start to get a little bit hot. So breathability, also a second bad and not the best for the Way of Wade 11s. Okay, so the third bad for me is the price, right? These shoes are very expensive. Uh, in US dollars, it's gonna run you uh, probably 225 to 260 once they come out in retail. Uh, it's even a bit more expensive right now. And for a Canadian, it's gonna run you about 312 to 350 Canadian, right? So these shoes are pretty expensive. And yes, there's a lot of tech in them and yes, premium materials and yes they do play well overall but I just think regardless right that's a pretty steep price to pay for a pair of shoes. All right so the last bad I have um, for the Way of Wade 11s is actually a minor one and this final one is really based off preference right so I think these shoes look great from you know a basketball perspective wearing on court people asking you what shoes you have on right this whole splash pattern is really nice but from a style of facility, which is one of the things I used to rack my shoes, which is can you wear these shoes on a basketball court and can you wear them out, and, you know, somewhere else? Can you wear them maybe on a date or to the mall or, you know, wherever else you're going? I think for me, it's a bit iffy, but, you know, the look is going on me, but do let me know in the comments if this is something that you would wear casually outside the basketball court. Yeah, but for me, it was, it was close, it was almost, uh, you know, in between, but I just, you know, lean more on the bat. But it's a small bat for the Way of Wade 11s. Okay, now that we're done with all the negativity, finally, we can move to some good news about the Way of Wade 11s, right? So overall, there are about a total of eight things that I really like about the Way of Wade 11s. So let's get into that. First, we're gonna start with the traction performance, right? So we talked about the traction pattern being soft and also not being very, you know, uh, deep. However, it is awesome when you play in terms of the bite you get, when you change direction, when you go up and down the court, um, when you, you know, make quick cuts, this thing bites insanely well. And also I played on a dusty court and I did clean this, which is why it, it's pretty clean now, but all you need to do is just a couple of wipes um, every other time down the court, but 
I was you know pretty pretty shocked to get even squeaks on that court because that court typically doesn't get you know uh, any decent bite or even a squeak out of most of my shoes so it was pretty nice to see that this performs on in terms of the traction performance so that was really really good for me and that's the first good that we have for the way of weight 11s all right moving on to the second good right so the, the second thing i really like about the way of weight 11s is the cushion setup right it is insane okay so let me break this down first off um you have this insole right and this insole is really plush it has a bit of rebound to it and it's it's proper thick right it's not like regular ortholite you can see how thick this cross section is it's really good and then of course the strobe board is full-on mesh right it's from beginning to the end perforated mesh and then you can feel the boom cushion right underneath your foot so that is really really awesome now also right the midsole itself is also boom right so you can see that um, the midsole here wraps around the entire shoe so this design was really strange when i saw the picture so i had to get them for myself to see but what has happened here is that everything you see apart from the upper this upper here is leather and then you have some textile and some fabric for the tongue and also the heel and also for the heel tab but besides that the entire midsole everything you see here on the side of the shoe on the on the this white part on the lateral side and the white part on the middle side is all boom full and it's all one piece just sculpted all across the shoe which is why they needed this huge bulky external heel counter to keep that uh stable and in check so the cushion feels awesome on foot it's very comfortable um you might say this is caged so where is the compression but you do feel that compression between the boom underfoot and also the insole and also the fact that the traction itself this outer rubber here is soft rubber right so if you can see i'm hitting this with my finger i'm pressing this and it is actually depressing like it's actually compressing so that outsole is also very soft so all that compresses you know um, inside the shoe um, you know regardless of the fact that there's this beefy external heel counter also this heel counter is a plastic with like a dual density which is really crazy because foam has your density but this plastic has your density too because at this part of the heel counter right here it's really hard right so you can you can you can hear that you can hear that on this side however on the lateral side this plastic same plastic is softer and you can see me right as i press that and i press that so <laughs> the plastic seems to have you know dual properties and that also adds to the comfort you, you get from the cushion, right? So it doesn't feel clunky at all, right? Hill to toe transition is great. And overall, the ride is surprising. It's one of the best I've tested and it's definitely um, a novel experience for me for the cushion. So yeah, yeah, that was a long one, but definitely that's the second good. And that's a great, actually, that's a really, really good one uh, for the implementation of the cushioning in the way of Wade. 11s. So the third good is closely related to the cushion and that's just stability, right? So with cushion, you also have to have stability so you can balance that out. And then here, I think uh, they've implemented, you see this, it's like a, a shank plate, right? It's, it's the other side of the shank plate. So um, it's bottom loaded. And then when you try to spin this around on this axis, you see that it doesn't go anywhere. It's rigid as you like, right? This is a crazy stable shoe. If you're a guard, you're a big man, you're gonna be okay playing this for days and days. And then the external heel counter also just wraps around your foot on the lateral side. And then it's really beefy and strong on the back and, and part of the medial side. So overall stability is definitely a great uh, for the way of way 11s. Um, the fourth good, um, as far as the way of weight 11 goes, is the fit right so these fit really good on foot there they have a wider last right so even if you have a slightly wider foot you're not going to have your toes pinching you on either side either your pinky toe or your big toe you're going to be just good right because this is a wider shoe than its predecessor uh, we have weight 10. also you see it has um, a considerable amount of ankle padding right so that feels really good right here also on the tongue itself outside of the tongue and inside of the tongue is padded and you can see 
this huge tongue. The tongue is massive, right? So this just wraps around your foot this way and just keeps you cozy all the way. Also, it has this sock uh, construction, that booty construction where you just have to, you know, it's like a one piece. It's easy to slip on. So that also just wraps around your foot when your foot is directly in the footbed. Also, you can see here the heel is sculpted. You can see that little U there or that little inverted C. Um, which sculpts your foot into the footbed and keeps it locked down so for fit um, and then inside the shoe is just is just the mat material the textile used on the inside of the shoe is really cozy so that when you have your foot slipped on there it, it's just really really comfortable in terms of fit right so I think I went true to size as well so definitely I think you should go true to size for this one and not a size um, a half a size up except you have a really wide foot and then you should probably go half a size up but overall right the, the shoe fits really really well uh, so yeah that's a definite plus plus for the way of weight 11s okay so the fifth good thing about the way of weight 11s is how easy it is to put on the shoes and take them off right so once you get past these initial laces like just um, the first two holes this one right here and then the other one, you could just jack up the tongue. And, and this is the this is the widest, the widest tongue I've ever seen, you know, like I said, but you know, just look at the amount of space you have just to slide your foot in and also take it out, right? So um, that's something that really matters to me. I just want to be able to, to wear the shoes and play and then take them off, right? So for the way of weight 11s, that's something that's also really, really great. So you can just put them on and take them off as you like. All right, the sixth thing that I really like about the Way of Wade 11 is actually a shocker for me, and it's the weight. These shoes are light, which still sounds strange when I say it, right? So for comparison, right, they're about the same weight as the Amta Kai ones, right? It's literally the same weight, just a couple of, you know, points heavier or, uh, for the Way of Wade 11s, but essentially they're like the same uh, weight. Um, you know, and I, I thought with this beefy pattern, this is plastic, right? This is so much foam. These shoes will, you know, definitely be heavy, but on hand and on foot, they are not heavy at all, right? So that implementation, whatever compounds, whatever materials they're using in way of weight, the research and development team there is going crazy because these shoes are not heavy, right? So for comparison, they are slightly heavier than you know the way of weight tens uh, the predecessor but not actually that noticeable and then they're also significantly you know uh, lighter than you know the hardened volume eights and the sevens which play well and you don't even feel that weight because of distribution but these are even heavier than the way of weight um 11s right <laughs> and then of course that one shoe I always love to bring just to, to, to make that comparison. The heaviest shoe I own, um, um, the Way of Weight Eights, which you probably should not buy ever. But um, yeah, these are probably the, the heaviest and these are like at least maybe, uh, yeah, I actually would say maybe like like five ounces heavier than the Way of Weights. But when I put this on my scale, it, it sort of hit an overload so I couldn't get a proper weight for that. So yeah, again, not this one. Yeah, so yeah, the weight is definitely a plus for the way of weight 11, surprisingly. I never thought I would say that. But yeah, these shoes are not heavy to play with, and uh, they're pretty nice. All right, so the seventh thing that I like about the way of weight 11s is the innovation, right? They, they have really pushed the boundaries with this one, right? So you have boom as the midsole, it's wrapping around, and then you have an external TPU counter, which is typically internal but here it's external and it's implemented very beautifully also you have um, two different outsole patterns right so <laughs> this is crazy i always find this crazy can you see this this is two different outsole patterns one is some his face and one is something else that looks like a crash bandicoot um you know insignia or some some design like that right but you know he's <laughs> doing some traditional i guess sort of art here um, but yeah, two different traction patterns, which I can't remember when lost or if I, I have actually ever seen that somewhere else. And, you know, they do play well. It's not non-functional. It actually works pretty well. Um, so also the, the silhouette is just completely different, right? If you compare this to um, the, the older shoe, 
right? So if you compare this to to this guy, right, they, they look very dissimilar. I think the implementation of the materials are also like completely different, and also the style, right? So I, I do like the fact that you know uh, they haven't done a copycat job, and it's really really different compared to the other one. So that's something I like. I like when companies try new things and you know push the boundaries instead of giving us the same deal every year. So that's pretty nice in terms of innovation, and that's definitely a plus for the way of weight 11s in my books. So the last thing I really like about the way of weight 11s is the materials, right? So you have your trusty leather here that feels premium to touch and also really great on foot. And then you have Boom, which is their premium foam just draped all around the shoe, right? And Boom is, of course, soft to touch and feels premium as well. And then even this plastic, the way it's implemented, right? It's sort of like this dual density plastic that's hard on one side right so you you have you know the heel counter keeping your foot in and then on the other side it's soft so that it doesn't interfere with the cushion implementation right so that implementation is 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 really great and something that you know way of weight brand has been doing for a minute now also the tongue itself has these perforations that look really nice and then the fabric itself has these rows uh, these plush rows that feel good to touch and also you know make your ankles feel cozy even this textile is premium uh, the way it feels and then it extends all the way down to that sock that keeps your, your foot uh, you know feeling cozy in the shoe so overall I do like the blend of materials uh, it has leather it has premium foam it has plastic it has textile it has fabric um, it's, it's just a perfect blend of materials in my opinion um, and even this outsole although it might not be that functional but it's soft to touch and it feels pretty premium as well, right? So definitely something I really, really like about the Way of Wade 11s. Okay, so that's about it for everything good I had to say about the Way of Wade 11s. For the in-between, there's really just one thing, and that is visual appeal, right? So looking at these online before I got them on hand, I was like, ah, I'm not really sure about these. And then I did buy them, of course, and I played in them, and on court, I started to warm up the demo a little bit. Like, oh, I like the design a little bit. It's it's making a bit more sense. It looks good on foot, you know, so I'm a bit on the fence about that. I don't know. And it happens a lot. It happened with the Harden Volume 7, Harden Volume 8, and even with the AE1s, <laughs> you know. So most of the designs, you think like, ah, what's going on when you see them initially? And probably because you see them in leaks and people who post the pictures don't make, uh, you know, an effort to, to post actual good pictures. And then when you get them on hand, they start to look good, right? So I think on court, um, I do like the way these look on court. Not talking about style, versatility, like wearing them out to the mall or to a party or to a date, but just the way they look on court and the statement, uh, you know, you can you can make on the court with these, which I have started to warm up to. So let me know in the comments what you think about wearing these and, and what you think about the design. You think it's a hit or a miss or what would you have maybe done differently, um, you know? But yeah, that's the only in-between I have, and it's about, you know, the design of the shoe and its uh, visual appeal on the court. All right, guys, so there you have it for my first impressions of the Way of Wade 11, right? Four things I don't quite like, eight things I really like, and just one thing I'm on the fence about. Um, of course, I'm going to play in this some more and then release my detailed review uh, video, but you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think about the way of weight 11s uh, You know, would you buy them? Um, what other questions do you want to answer? Just post in the, in the comments and of course I'm gonna get back to you uh, But yeah, thank you so much for watching Thank you for subscribing the channel is doing great. Please continue to like share subscribe comment and let me know if there's any uh, shoes you would like me to get or I might already have them if you'd like me to review them for you. Uh, but till then, just stay tuned, subscribe, and keep an eye out for the detailed performance review for these Wave Wade shoes. Uh, thank you so much, guys. See you in the next one. Bye, Hoopers.